All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan, Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Bahashim in the name, Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to you, Akim, that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of Rob with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwas. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in and studying and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're just two brothers from the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson. I'm the brother Taza War. I'm one. And uh, we're here through the spirit. We got um we got a movie trailer, you know, because uh art imitates what is it was it art imitates uh, reality or life. Uh, art yeah, art imitates uh life. Uh we know that these um we say predictive programming, these people in high places, the elites, people in Hollywood, you know, they're pushing out subliminal message or or, or they get in, inspired from the scriptures ultimately to push forth an agenda. And, you know, this is how we know that the Lord's words are, are, are a living book and are, and are powerful. They're still quick and powerful, as the scripture says, you know, these are um, lately these are um, Hollywood has just been pushing nothing but uh chaos, civil unrest, uh, end times, apocalyptic or biblical proportion type of flicks or movies or or uh, 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 TV shows or video games. They're getting uh, the masses prepared for their agenda. Uh, and even though it's entertainment to some, we're here to give you warning to pay attention, to be circumspect, to get your minds prepared because this is ultimately going to take place. And uh, we're going to play this trailer, and we got some scriptures. I don't know if you want to start off with a scripture first, or or, or you want to play the trailer. Yeah, you play the trailer. Yeah, because, Khan, so pay attention, because ultimately, uh, uh, with this move, well, this trailer uh, uh, shows that, that what we're going to prophesy about, man, the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America, the, the end of Esau, Edom's kingdom, the, his heaven, his rulership, which is the so-called white man's. And it's going to, before we can see the kingdom of heaven, uh, take place with peace and unity and actual love, peace and happiness. It has to be tribulation that must take place. So we're gonna play this trailer and Lord's will. We're gonna get into some scriptures and everything's edifying. States have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything. I guess a weird. It's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. What if... Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning house. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Right. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? God, 
justice for all. God bless America. see hey the movie looks great you know it looks very entertaining but here we as the servants the prophets we always advise to uh, seek everything spiritually and we know this is all through biblical prophecy that, that what you just seen in this trailer is going to take place because the lord uh, ordained that this part of his will and this is why we're telling you to be prepared to uh to be circumspect and, and, and watch because the days are evil are going to take place now there's plenty of scriptures that were flying through uh i could speak for myself i know this brother had, had scriptures flying through uh uh while watching this trailer hey man it's like these movie directors literally were reading second as 15 and and the 16th chapter and pretty much the scriptures man because this is what the prophets of old uh, 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 seen and, and described it and prophesied And now we understand that we're doing the same thing Till, till this day So you got something bro or? Uh, Yeah um, okay. <clears throat> yeah, we got something on 2nd Ezra Yep con so 15, um, Verse 14 is reason con. It says woe to the world And them that dwell therein mm -hmm. It says for, for the sword And the destruction draw nigh And one people shall stand up uh, One people shall stand up And fight against another and swords in their hands. Hey, real quick. Hey, man, they, they show you that in this trailer, man. First, woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means death and destruction. It says, for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. Hey, man, you see people taking matters of their own hands. This is going to be civil unrest inside here in a, a, a Babylon the Great, here in America, man. You know, mm -hmm. you want to continue? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and um, mm -hmm. and when you go, I, I just looked up the word civil war. Yep. And, yep. It, and it reads, it says, a war between citizens of the same country. Mm. Yeah, yeah. At the, around the end of the trailer, you know, there's a, a, a Edomite with his uh, military clothing and he got the AK 47 and he got, he stopped, uh, uh, well, the civilians of the movie. And they were like, well, what type of, there's a misunderstanding, we're American, and they're like, hey, what type of American? It just shows you there's going to be also a divide here in America, man, nations against nations, you know? This is what we've been prophesying starting from the apostles and uh, elders and brothers on down, that there's going to be a civil unrest, man. There's going to be a race war. There's going to be total, utter chaos that's coming here in, uh, in America, man. Mm-hmm. And it says, uh... It says, uh, for there, there shall be sedition among men yep. and evading one another. That's right. Mm -hmm. It says, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yeah, and you've seen in that trailer, there were people uh, taking uh, their own power with guns and their own weapons and invading, whether it was the, 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 the White House, whether it was uh, any political powerful building. You didn't see a lot of policemen uh, having everything in control. It was it was uh, utter chaos, man. Mm -hmm. People were taking uh, actions in their own power, as the scripture says, man. Uh, if you want to speak up, we'll say uh, something. You just uh -huh. uh, de definition. Um, mm -hmm. Since we read the word uh, sedition, Con. and it reads, it says, a, a conduct or speech inciting people to rebel mm. against the authority of a state or a monarchy. That's right. And that's the times that we're in, man. We're in the time of hate, time of war, and you can feel it, man. And again, these these um trailers and movies are just uh the icing on the cake to know that hey, that's that's part of the agenda. But ultimately it's part of the scriptures. You know, these people are gonna take matters in their own hand because there's gonna be no uh source of uh income, the the world's gonna collapse. There's gonna be no, there's gonna be a famine. There's gonna be pestilence, mm -hmm. all type of uh, chaos. So people are gonna to try. To, it's gonna be a survival of the fittest, as you can see in the in this trailer. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it's, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be a dog eat dog world, man. People are, are gonna be cold towards each other. They're not gonna regard your feelings, your right. thoughts. So they even put the, that 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 love behind to ultimately focus on survival, man. Right, mm -hmm. right, and, and, and um, and the reason why they're gonna really take actions to their own hands, like the scripture said, it says, so there, there should be sedition among men invading one another, 
because they should not regard their kings nor mm -hmm. princes because mm -hmm. they're not going to trust the American government no more. Yeah. They ain't going to trust in the president no more. They're going to realize that, that the government doesn't have their best interest at the heart, at the heart for the people. Yeah. And, 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 and they're going to start to resist. It's going to start seeing civil disorder, more protests. You know what I'm saying? As times going to get hard, as we, we're going through year, and, and this 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 uh this death ceiling keeps increasing, mm -hmm. and, and, and we, we're gonna see the, uh, the 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 dollar being done away. People want to start realizing that their their future are grim, man. That's right. That, that there is no future. You know, there is no tomorrow. Huh. And and that's what's really gonna spark the mindset of people to act irrational, man, and and and, and have this sinister mindset. And, uh, and, 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 and be in this certain environment to cause you to commit crimes and, and do things that you wouldn't do, especially when it's going to be a lawless society when the government shuts down. That's right. Then it's going to give them more power to go ahead and do the things that they do. But in this, in th in this manner, we're letting you know that people's not going to trust the government, and this is going to cause a friction. This is going to cause the uprising, the yeah. revolts. You know, if yeah. I, it's a lot mm -hmm. of people, yeah. if I made land back, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's gonna cause the tension because they ultimately feel that the the president that's in office now was a Sleepy Joe is the reason why uh, in the past four years why America has been going down the drain. There's so much tension with war. There's uh, uh, the, the inflation. The cost of living is is preposterous. People is, is struggling to survive, so they feel that they can't even trust uh, Sleepy Joe. But now there's an incoming, um, upcoming uh, uh, presidential. Uh, uh, election and people are going to feel that if they don't get their candidate that they vote uh, to be elected as president then it's going to cause more uproars and more revolting man hey man see the lord is moving his these chess pieces to ultimately bring forth this chaos bring forth uh, uh, uh trouble uh, uh, uh tribulation man right Huh. And 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 and, and it says in, in the course of their actions, I stand in their power. Mm -hmm. So that's when you know, like the bus said, people is gonna um, take matters in their own hands, right? And it says a man should desire to go into a city, and should not be able. Yeah, because just imagine you're gonna have all type of gangs or crews, uh, 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 militias, you know, uh, 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 protecting their 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 well being, their their area. You know, even you're gonna you're gonna have all, and they show you that in, in a, more movies like uh, The Road, uh, The Purge. They are gonna have uh, again that survival uh, uh, mentality, and somebody who's a newcomer or a new face, they're gonna be seen as a threat. So you ain't gonna be able to just walk uh, uh, carelessly, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and like you said, brother, and these are gonna be uh, uh, certain checkpoints where. A person is not going to be able to travel mm -hmm. uh, 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 unless you have a certain identification. Mm -hmm. And we know that when the MOTB is going to be implemented, that's really going to put the uh, 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 it's going to, it's going to put a, a strict uh, 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 boundary on where certain people can go because the scripture said without that mark you can't buy or sell. Mm -hmm. So you understand your information, your ID, everything about you is on, is on, is on that is on that is on that karagma. When we, you know you can't have access to no uh, pay, make any payments or make any purchases unless you have that 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 mark. So it's like in, in, in that three square mark, it shows you that people had access to certain buildings mm -hmm. or was able to make a certain purchase at the vendor vendor machines and yeah. certain things. Open up but, doors, right? And stuff, yep. Making that that's the key to to, to to having access. So imagine when you don't have that, and, and someone is identifying you as yo when you see some ID. And that's going to be the, this, the the new ID act that they, they were saying back then from 2020. Mm. That this is going to be the new verification. And if you don't have that, how are you going to maneuver around? That's right. And, and you're going to be easily singled out to be isolated and bring to a, a detention camp or whatever the case may be. But that's just a, a, a small scenario, man. But it could be on, on, on large scale, especially when martial law is clear. You know, saying and the seas on lockdown like we had during the the, C, the CV19. Mm -hmm. All this. It's 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 going 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 to take you it's going to take away your privilege and your liberty to do what you you like to do you know you you know since a lot of people was on lockdown during the the, the virus uh, people was on curfew man mm -hmm. a lot of people was upset man and, you, and we seen that that, that 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 the state of mind of people that that carried after the pandemic how how it, it messed up people man yeah. so imagine this going around people already experienced that that, that first round. 
And, and when the second round is declared, people then really ain't going to care so much. They're going to just be nonchalant and just do what the hell they want. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that, again, was we were saying it through the spirit when it happened was a precursor. It was a, it was a sample. And we know it was all orchestrated from these uh, uh, these elites. But, you know, and now if you're taking away more of their privileges, you ain't going to be getting money this time. Or, you know, what was it called? The, uh, the stimulus. The stimulus. Yep, at the water. Stimulus packages. You ain't going to be able to uh, uh, to travel. You have to uh, a stricter curfew. And best believe uh, uh, now they're going to have more masks. You know, people having the mask. They're going to take matters in their own hands, man. Even worse, man. Because they, 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 they haven't seen any... Uh, 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 healing, let's say. This is right yeah. back from, t what, four years ago, roughly, and that flu, and nothing changed. And it's only got worse and worse, so now it's going to be like, you know what, like you mentioned earlier, as the scripture says, these guys ain't going to regard their kings. They're not going to listen and, and take advice from these presidents, because they're going to start seeing them for what they are, man. Right. Lying puppets, man. Right. You know? Hey, man, sins being revealed. Even mm -hmm. bringing down, like you said, today, puppets to your, your, your kill gates, to your your Dr. Fauci's and, and stuff like that. People mm -hmm. now noticing everything that they said previously was, you know, uh, they they deemed it to, to find out that most of it wasn't true, man. Yeah. Everything that was sanctioned from FDA, but that, let's just say that people are now uh, 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 are now uh, um, uh, are now pretty much questioning things. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna continue on. It come, says come, uh, come. verse eighteen. It says for for because of their pride. The city shall be troubled. That's right. And the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Yeah, those, hey, man, they show you that, man. Uh, uh, cities and uh, uh, count countries, states were turning to ruin, man. They were being destroyed. It was imploding within, within, within itself, and men shall be afraid. Those men are going to be afraid are those that ultimately don't trust in the Lord, that don't have that, um, that 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 hedge from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, giving protection. That don't have that um that that wisdom and knowledge to be stable in these times. They're not paying attention. You know, they don't they don't believe or take heed to the warning. They they scoff and scorn. They think we're just conspiracy theorists or or we damn that's Satan right there, man, with the with the sound. But it's all good. We're gonna push right through it. You know, you got people. That don't take heed to this warning, they're gonna when all hell break loose, they're going to wish that they have listened and they've repented, you know. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned earlier, the MOTB, the Karagma, uh, people ain't gonna. There's some people that know about it that's that's willing not to take it. Mm -hmm. But again, they don't have the Lord. They don't have faith in the Lord. So ultimately, the Lord's gonna give them up to their own um, devices, man. Mm -hmm. Whether they want to take matters in their own hand, that sword, the famine, they're gonna die with it. You know? That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> we got yeah. 19, right? Yeah, 19, right? Yeah. yeah. It says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, yeah. but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods uh, because of lack of bread and for great tribulations. Yeah. Come on, that's the main point, man. There's going to be food is going to be scarce. Water is going to be scarce. Shelter is going to be scarce. You know, comfort is going to be scarce, man. Mm -hmm. Peace and safety is going to be scarce, man. It says what in uh, Second Ezra, it should be like pilgrims on the earth. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, I'll get that for you. But, you know, hey, the times that are are, that are, 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 are coming are going to be a time of evil, a time of trouble, man. What I say? Second Ezra's. I should play what is Salak, yeah. 16. Yep, 16. 49 or 41. 16. Mm -hmm. 16. Yeah, 16. Man, it says that man should have no pity upon his neighbor. So That's right. just just know, man, in that day, no one's and no one's gonna be sparing anyone's feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? In that day, people ain't gonna be knocking on your door to, to ask you to borrow some ketchup and some sugar, <laughs> get, you know. For some, uh -huh. You know, in that day, they busting down doors. They 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 busting their guns, man, uh -huh. taking what they want, man. You know, but it's, and plus the scriptures say because the nickel shall bound, uh -huh. the love of many shall uh -huh. wax cold. So you, you in that day you can't trust nobody, man. Yeah. You know. Huh. Mm -hmm. I got, so there's a. I'm, uh, I'm gonna read a few here and then jump down. Uh, Second Ezra 16 verse 17. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famines and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges 
Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they should think themselves to be in good case. Mm -hmm. uh, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall no uh, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. Man, hey, hey, hey that's self-explanatory, man. Yeah. It's it, it just showing you, man, like, hey, when it's time to repent, when the, the prophet's out there letting you know about the about the impending dangers, giving you this warning, people laughed at it, man. People yeah. scoff and, you know, and make mockery. But now we, we, we're starting to see uh, the, these appointed times taking place of what the prophecy says in the scriptures. And now people are like starting to see like, oh, man, mm -hmm. uh, talking or saying, oh, we, we, yeah, we're in some end time. Though. This is some apo 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 apocalyptic, apocalyptic times, yeah. times that mm -hmm. we're in, man. You know, seeing that the end, they're struggling to make ends meet, seeing that, you know, uh, uh, people are losing their jobs. So now, they, so, so now they see life what it is, but still they don't want to repent. Still they don't want to seek the Lord. They still want to hearken to the, to the prophets. Huh. So, 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 you know, just because they can go and get up and go to the fucking McDonald's and order a cheeseburger or, or go here and there. So they think they still in good case. They, uh -huh. They're thinking that, you know, life is still good that, you know. That eventually America's gonna, you know, bounce back and, 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 get, and, healed, and yeah. get healed, man, mm -hmm. be reset. But no, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. the scripture's saying that part of what's going on, if you were to hearken to the prophets, you knew that this is the, the judgment of Yahweh which he's going which he's executing, which is he's visiting the world that he made through his judgment, through through these earthquakes, through his famine, through the pestilence, through wars, mm -hmm. and, and to punish them, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the sons of men, to punish the people, the inhabitants of the earth. Because what? People continue to, 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 to be profane, continue to exercise in, in wickedness, man, mm -hmm. continue to uh, 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 uphold anything that's against the scriptures, man. Yeah. And, 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 that's the, and that's the state that we're in. So now the Lord is bringing judgment. And as he's punished these people, people ain't still ain't getting it, man. Yeah, that's the pride, man. You yeah, know, they, that's that pride. They still don't want to fear the Lord, man. They still want to think that he's, a, you know, he's a pushover. They don't want to seek him. They again, they people, they see all these signs, they see what's going on, and they still don't want to search for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, man, the Lord hates pride, and and as the Lord said. Uh, uh, what goes before pride? The destruction. Uh, no, the destruction goes before pride, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, 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 I said it wrong. I'm saying it. Uh, pride goes before pride before go destruction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Salakia. Yeah, yeah, con. And that's why the Lord has a bullseye mainly in America. They show you most of these directors again. These movies, the the main uh, culprit is America going through them bad times. You know, mm -hmm. these other nations are, are gonna uh, uh, receive the sw these plagues as well. But the Lord got a bullseye on America. And you know, the sentiment of people think that God bless America or God loves America. That's 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 not according to the scriptures, man. The Lord's about to curse this place with all these other destructions and plagues, man. Mm -hmm. But I can go ahead. No, I say uh, one thing, it, it mm -hmm. also says uh, the signs so clear, like you said, bro, that that each day goes by. The scripture talking about how evil is gonna grow upon the earth, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and these people don't don't ain't picking on, but uh, they ain't picking on, but um. But 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 scripts talking about there's gonna be a great confusion and this mm. this is this is the the home of, of what we say mm -hmm. a oh, bab confusion. a confusion home of confusion which is what Babylon hence Babylon right Babylon, Babylon, Babylon right yeah and it's funny because here it is we're in a time of war and we're in a time of hate the people don't have a clue what's going on we're in a war with Ukraine we're in war in the Middle East we're in war with China North Korea mm -hmm. we're in war and these people are just are going to and fro aimlessly, not you know, what I'm saying, not having a care of of what might take place. If you know, what I'm saying, if Russia strikes a missile over here or North Korea, whatever. But it's, it's to show you that 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 that, that gross darkness that's covering the people's uh, 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 that's covering the people, man. That's right. That confusion, man. You know, but. But hey, the Wadi Habashima Shah for shining his light upon us, man. That's right. That, that we can see full through his darkness and, and, and actually know what's going on, man. The Wadi Habashima Shah. Uh, you got some? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. 
Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Mm. Yeah, man. Hey, be circumspect, man. Like, like, like the scripture says, the brother quoted it in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. We're in a time of war, a time of hate, man. A time of great death, a time of misery, man. Great miseries the Lord said he was going to bring. And you, 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 you got to be a complete fool if you really think that this place is going to get better, man. Right. With all the things that's happening in the East, like the brother mentioned, you know, all the things that's even happening here in America, man. There's not a time for this place to be healed. It's a time of war. It's a time of destruction. And we're here to give you that this is the will of the Most High, man. Mm -hmm. It says, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Most High is. So the times of evil, bad times are coming, man. Mm -hmm. We read many great death. And pretty sure in that movie, is going to be a lot of great death. All these movies that take place, man, they show you a major city. Whether it's Boston, whether it's New York, whether it's Houston, whether it's Los Angeles, whether it's um, Florida, Miami, it doesn't matter. These major cities are going to receive great judgment of the Heavenly Father. Ultimately, the whole America, you know. Right, right. But, 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 hey, man, it shows you, you know. It shows you it's time to be circumspect, man. Know your surroundings. Know what time you're in, man. Redeeming the time. We're now in the time of love, peace, and happiness, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, that's 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 uh, also what Second Peter talks about, you know, where it goes like, uh, seeing then that all these things shall Most be special. dissolved, yeah. Yeah. what man a person are you to be in our holy conversation and godliness? What, what, what person are you to be? You know what I'm saying? How are you gonna maneuver? How are you gonna conduct yourself? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? After knowing that, you know, that that. America's going to be destroyed after seeing the signs and seeing the direction that the earth is going in. How can you deny these things? Mm -hmm. How can you be simple? You know, Scripture's talking about those that are simple uh, when, when they see, see the sword come and, and, uh, and, um, and, the, and pretty much you've been warned and, and the simple pretty much is just, just, just ignore and turn their back on, on, on what's going on and pretty much gets punished, man, mm, and gets, and gets put on? to death. Okay, Buffy, um, that? That's not Proverbs, right? Probably it's Proverbs, yeah. I'll get that for you. 20, if I'm not maybe 27, 14, or you, could, or you could just type it up. But, yeah, but the, that's the problem, man. A wise man would take heed. A wise man would take cover. A wise man would prepare you. himself, you know? I got you. Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs 27, verse 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Mm -hmm. So the Lord always gives us warning. So no one can ever say that. They, they don't know what's what's going on mm -hmm. or they ain't hear what was taking place because the Lord always brings out his prophet can you um research real quick mm -hmm. for, uh, 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 the definition of prudent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll do that with you too so it can pop up on the screen okay you know uh, what I mean mm -hmm. uh, it says prudent yeah it says acting with and showing care and thought for the future. Mm. Hey man, hey yeah, you speak on it because hey, I, hey, I didn't hey. want to cut your wisdom. No, 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 no. So it's another words for the word prudent is wise, mm -hmm. well judged. Uh, uh, it says uh, 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 cautious, careful, circumspect. Right, mm, which you read earlier, right? Yeah. Circumspect, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, man. Thoughtful, yep. you know, right? Careful, yeah, you man. Know I yeah. Right, and the opposite, you know, is unwise, imprudent. And cautious. Hey, the Salah. No, 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 no. They got the it. Lord no, says, good, hey, Israelites, what he said, uh, impudent children. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, t he's talking about those that don't take heed, man. They're, they're silly, they're foolish, they're stupid. Sardis, sardis they're sardis children. They're sardis children. Mm -hmm. Hey, unwise. It says, be not unwise, but not understanding what the will of the Lord is, as we read in Ephesians chapter 5, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But yeah, I'll read that again for you, brother, because mm -hmm. you quoted. Uh, Proverbs 27 verse 12 A prudent man foreseeth the evil And hide of himself But the simple pass on and are punished Yeah, and simple uh, Yeah, so the prudent man is going to hide himself He's going to be well instructed He's going to get his house in order mm -hmm. He's going to, you know what I'm saying Be prepared for what for what's to come, man You know, but the 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 um, the, uh, the simple You know, he's going to pass on, man mm -hmm. Disregard it dis Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, disregard it You know, like, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, uh, uh, shun shun away from the word, nod his head, 
you niggas crazy, you know, uh, 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 wag, wag their hands and mm-hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> suck their teeth and shit. Yeah. Niggas still here, man, still in dresses, man. Oh, this nigga crazy, man. <laughs> niggas suck as shit. Yo, suck as shit. Yo, y'all ready to listen to Jay Z? You can push your teeth, nigga. Yeah. Niggas crazy. You know, yeah. and, and do all this, man. Mm-hmm. And when that time comes, and these are people that's going to be inquired. These are people mm-hmm. that's going to be in great confusion. These are people that's going to be running to and fro, uh, uh, you know, like a chicken with his head cut off, not knowing what the hell to do. Where to, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. these are people that's going to get caught up in them days when Esau set up these detention camps. Yeah. Or he said these immune, these immunity centers mm-hmm. to get refuge, to come get food. And these are people that's going to... Slip is gonna fall right into into their lot, man. To the, right? to the, to the, to the, the trap, the, man. The snare, yeah. snare, man. Because best believe they probably offer uh, refuge or some food, but it comes with a price, man. These devils ain't gonna give you anything freely. They they want you to ultimately su- submit and take that uh, that 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 grain of rice, man. That karagma, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. But uh, if I could just speak mm-hmm. on, it mm-hmm. says the prudent man forsaketh the evil and hide of himself. And how is the prudent man? We already gave you the definition. Gonna hide himself ultimately through um, Proverbs, uh, was that 18 and 10? The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth unto it and is safe. Ultimately, it starts with that name, man. Trusting in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. There's only one name that can be uh, 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 praised uh, for faith and for salvation, man. Mm-hmm. So that's how a, a prudent man is gonna hide himself. Ultimately, the Lord is gonna find a way for. For his elect, his servants to be delivered in this time of trouble, he promised that. Right. And, and even if some of the elect are even brought into these synagogues or into these detention centers, and the Lord will find a way out. Or if not, be a martyr. There's 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 also a, a reward for being a martyr for Yahweh Yahweh Shah. Right. You know. Right. And, and these are things that the Lord's warning of us that mm-hmm. it's going to take place. That's why we got to prepare ourselves, man. And, and and if you do do find yourself. And in that in, in, in that stead of being a martyr, do what the scriptures say, man. Mm-hmm. It says what? Did there be? Um, we'll call it out. Which, which? Uh, I believe in uh, Revelation two and nine. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the same. Yep. To be to be what? To be faithful unto death, man. But yeah, you can read it because this is part of lesson two. Oh, Revelation um, two and ten, right? Yeah. Con, con, got you. Yeah, this is all. It all goes uh, synonymous, man. Mm-hmm. With uh, Revelation two verse ten, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, and ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Yeah, man. So, so yeah. So the Lord instructed uh, uh, his, his servants. It says, if you're wise, you're gonna take heed, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're wise, and you're hearing what's taking place, because Scripture did say that no, his, uh, the servant's not greater than master, mm-hmm. and we see what they did to our Lord. So we gotta have that same mindset. That the Lord, that 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 that, that, that we're not gonna be, uh, um, I, how you say, it? don't think that that we, that we we gonna just walk into the kingdom yeah. without being uh, um, without tried. being touched, without being tried, man. Yeah, it's not gonna be a cakewalk, man. Yeah. Right, man. You know? Scripture said, with much tribulation, then we shall enter into the kingdom mm-hmm. of heaven, man. So, so some of us are gonna get touched, man. So, uh, how you gonna prepare to deal with that? Because remember, that's part of a temptation too, because. Because Esau, when you go in the book of wisdom, it tells you that when he's going to come down with great wrath, man, when he, when he doesn't set up shop and he doesn't got, grab, grab, grab hold on, on the men of the Lord, mm-hmm. and he's going to try them, man. Like the scripture says, he's going to try them 10 days. Would you think that 10 days that is represented in, 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 um, in the scriptures? It's representing them putting you through different torture methods, man, mm-hmm. to have you cave in, to have you denounce the name, to, to have you take that mark. Just like when you read the accounts of the Maccabees, uh, um, in, in, in the apocrypha, man. That's right. How they've been put to the test, man. Yeah. And how they had integrity and remained faithful unto death. So this is coming back around, man. That's right. Hey, if I mm-hmm. may, if I may land back. Yeah, that's why the, the, the Lord left us the comforter, man. To comfort us when these times of trouble come. Because the, uh, the things that were written before time were written for our learning. The brother mentioned the Maccabees brothers with their mom as well. They all uh, uh, died for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai honorably. Um, you got to listen to the accounts of Daniel, uh, uh, the three holy children, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, I believe. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's times that you're going to be brought into prisons or your life is tested. You remain faithful and the Lord will find a way out. Even John, even Peter, you know, mm-hmm. Simon, people being put into jail. 
for preaching this word, you know, that also means least with that persecution. But the devil's gonna come down with great wrath. Can I get that real quick mm -hmm, for you, bro? Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it read right there, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, right? That's what we yeah. just read. Mm -hmm. And that devil is not a red horned beast, you know, with a pitchfork that's gonna throw you into hell or into prison, man. This devil is the deceiver, is it, is is ultimately Esau Edom, man, who had who's who's being uh orchestrated through Satan to go after those that fear the Lord. We can get that too, was that mm -hmm. second um, Ezra 16. Uh, yeah. Gone, gone. Um, Revelations 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. You got it, bro? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Yeah, yeah. So it says, yeah, uh, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, ye that dwell therein. Who's, who's going to rejoice? It's talking to the saints, man. It's talking to the elect. We going to rejoice, man. Because we know the, the Lord is coming to deliver us. But at the same time, the Lord is telling us what? It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down uh, uh, down unto That's you him. having great wrath. And because, you know, they, they had it but, but a short time. So he's coming down with great. Esau, Edom, so called white men, the elites, the, you know, they have an agenda. You, you know, their agenda is to set up their one world order. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's to establish one government, one ruler. One military, you know. One currency. One, one religion. Currency, one mm -hmm. religion. You know, mm -hmm. what I'm saying to be to be ruled under the, the, these men, under these evil men, and and, and and in order to establish these things, now they're in the process of, of, of setting up this, this this system by what taking out the old system out and setting up a new one. Mm -hmm. So this old way that we know the American way. And of society, a way of life, and anywhere in general, in in any country, it's going to be done away with, mm -hmm. and and everyone has to bow down to to, to their orders. So so with that being said, is what so the reason why we're seeing a lot of chaos, a lot of death, uh, 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 countries and places losing businesses and, and jobs are going out uh, are going out, man, is because it's because th this is this is the great reset that your your world econ economic formals. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 people are telling you, man. That's right. The, the great reset, man, to the point where they gotta destroy it. They, they gotta, uh, uh, they gotta uh, uh, remove the old system by uh, um, crashing, the, by crashing that old system, yeah. crashing the market, and bringing a, 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 a new, uh, a new system, a, a new monetary uh, uh, gain, a way of life, a way of life, yeah, man. For have you to rely on them. As right. their saviors, and that's why they remove Salah could cut you no, off. No, 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 no. That's why they remove uh, 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 the Most High. They want to, to uh, like the brother was saying beautifully, uh, introduce you to a new system or agenda or way of life that you don't have to rely or trust in the Lord, and they want you to trust in Him. And that's why ultimately that the whole crux of it is introducing that karagma as your form of you bowing down to them, man. Right. And then they think that they're gonna be the Most High. They ultimately are in their diabolical, sick mind thinking that they could upset prophecy. Right. Not knowing that the Lord is orchestrating them to do this so he can show his power, you yeah, know? That's right, yeah. That's right, right. And, and, and so, so with that being said, so these devils are pretty much want you to worship to Satan mm -hmm. and to ultimately be a perpetual slave to these people, to these elites, man. So they think they can rule forever and ever, man. You know? So Because they won't have to leave their... Uh, their power, you right. know what I mean? But they know they have a short time because things are speeding up. Right, right. and they read the scriptures, but mm -hmm. they're so prideful that they get blindsided not knowing that they're not going to win, not knowing mm -hmm. that the outcome in the scriptures is that the saints are going to obtain victory mm -hmm. through the Lamb, man, and that the world is going to be restored, man, and the whole soul nine. But like the brother saying, they're so prideful, not thinking that they can be taken down. They still gonna go continue with the um, with the enterprise, man. That's right. Continue with the with, the, with that system, with the MOTB to come to place. So with that said, they know there's gonna be resistance. They know it's not everyone's gonna get on board and follow. So now that's with the militia groups. Now this one martial law. Now this is with these executive orders gets to be gets to, to be put yeah. to get implemented, man. Yeah. And things that they already put in place from yeah. the Patriot Act one, from the Patriot Act two, from the Project, Project Megiddo. King uh, Alfred, there you go. Uh, 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 Southern uh, Poverty Law Center, you know what I'm saying? All that, all yeah. this, man. That uh, uh, um, that they're going now uh, um, implement because now it's going to fit their narrative. Now it's going to be it's going to be useful. It's going to be utilized in a way where 
they going to try to remove the prophets mm -hmm. and, and, and remove any rebels so and and, and, and and get everyone else that that's not aware or that's that, that that's not too sure to be a part of their plan but yeah, first yeah. you, you got to be a, a step that you got to take forth that's why Esau's known as what for that for that model that he has is what order out of chaos man mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah Khan, mm -hmm. that was beautiful bro yeah they doing that to under the guidelines of hate speech or radicals or uh, Bible thumpers or apocalyptic <laughs> believers, you know what I mean? They're pushing that narrative so they can control the masses to think that anybody like like us who we, we prophesy in Yahweh Yahweh Shai is coined as a, a potential threat. Mm -hmm. And that gives them the uh, the justification to come down with great wrath, man. Mm -hmm. And then that's, it's biblical prophecy. Mm -hmm. also, I mean, they're going to come down uh, around all citizens, but their main... Uh, objective to be removed is the you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but mainly the the the, the prophets of the Lord, man, the men of the Lord. And and hey, I'm gonna let the scripture uh, back up the, uh, the 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 claim. Mm -hmm. um, and they even coined the, 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 the pretty much you can say the prophets of the Lord as well, the prophets of the uh, uh, of doom. Mm. I doom, you know what I'm saying? Con, con. <laughs> yeah. You're right, brother. Uh, Second Ezra 16, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. They shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they sh and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. And real quick, that burning wrath of the great multitude is that civil unrest, martial law, martial law, mm. you know? And what's the name of that flick we were just watching the trailer? It was Civil War? Civil so, War. Hey, man. Hey, this is second. It should be called uh, Inspired by 2nd Ezra 15 and 16 chapter. <laughs> yeah, that's right, brother. That's what it should say, like that's a right. little, a fine print underneath that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Coming this spring. You know I mean? <laughs> but yeah, right. come, come. I'll read that again. You can break it down, brother. 2nd uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Ezra 16, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idols with things offered unto idols and they shall consent unto them Salakia, and they that consent unto them shall be shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden under foot for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord mm -hmm. real quick I know through the spirit you're going through the definition right mm -hmm. con con but insurrection let me know when you have it, brother. Uh, you, when, you oh, I thought you were going to get it. No, no, go ahead. You got oh, it. Come on, come on. Insurrection. A, a violent uprising against an authority or government. Yeah, they show you that in the flick. But in this in this uh, um, chapter or this um, verse that we're reading, this is, is, is reverse. It's the government, people in high places, mainly Esau, Edom, mm -hmm. having a, a, upri a violent uprising Against the authority of the Most High, the, the prophets of the, the Lord, Lord, you know. That's exactly what it is. Yep, rebellion, revolt, uprising, revolution, right, unrest, right. anarchy, you know, civil disobedience, sedition, as we brother we read mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. Hey, so everything ties, you know, all together. goes hand in hand, man. On, on, on a level, because mm -hmm. like you said, it, it, all this is going to be happening uh, uh, throughout uh, every place in, in every country, mm -hmm. but. But the the, the the main point here in the second Ezra sixteen seventy it says it, it says for there shall be in every place in, in the next city a great insurrection upon those mm. that fear the Lord, man. Mm. So this means specific on who this is talking about. Everyone else, if you if you're gonna get along with Esau's program, if you're gonna take the Karagma, Esau ain't gonna worry about you. You know what I'm saying? It's about the people that know that's out there teaching. That that, that that are the prophets that has been ordained by the, the Lord as servants and and and, and, and um and, and messengers mm -hmm. and and then you got those that believe the the, yep. the you know the yep. prophets the followers man and yep. these are the people that they want to get to because these are the people the that's, biggest threat that's right that's not gonna comply man that's right that's mm -hmm. right and I, I speak as a man I believe that while all this chaos is happening whether it's these other nations fighting with each other in here in America. They're going to use that as a diversion. Ultimately, they have a special, speaking as a man, mm -hmm. a special um, force or a special militia to come after those. Because, you know, they got everything. They got the algorithm. They got all the IP addresses. They, they see everything. You know, these uh, CIA and all these uh, uh, high federal groups. Best believe they have a special force just to come after 
you know, the Israelites, man, or, you know, anybody that believes in the Bible. And like the brother mentioned, Project Megiddo, King Alfred's plan, um, the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, you know. Hey, man, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Mm -hmm. We can see the play being played out, man. Right. He puts it all in the movie. Just, just yeah. like in that movie on um, Leave the the World Behind. Yeah. He said, what the dude said, the three steps. And the three steps of, uh, I think, the breakdown of America or society. Uh, society I, within. Yeah. 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 Told you uh, pretty much uh, the, uh, the, the, the knockout communication. That's what the cyber uh, attack was about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, get them isolated. Yep. You know, so forth. Uh, and then the third step was let them fight each other or something like that, right? Or yeah, right, right. It's gonna be a, pretty much. It's gonna be a coup. It's gonna turn mm -hmm. to a coup. It's gonna do, it, the work is gonna be done for yourself. Yep. Once you complete all the other steps, then the last part is what? It's every man, every man standing and fighting for themselves, man. So that, that right there is gonna lead to that civil war. Because once you, what scripture say in um Second Ezra's. Second Ezra six and, and um twenty, if you uh, twenty two, if you grab it real quick. This all good, con. Mm -hmm. uh, second Ezra sixteen, you said in twenty two. Mm -hmm. uh, for many of the, uh, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Is it that one? No, no. Second Ezra six and twenty two. So I gave six. Yeah, in twenty two. Oh, six and twenty two. Okay, con, con. And I'll mm -hmm. get back to Second Ezra sixteen after. You said six and twenty two. Mm -hmm. Con. Second Ezra 6 verse 22 And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown The full storehouses shall appear to be found empty And the trumpets shall give a sound Which when every man heareth They sh shall be suddenly afraid Continue on yeah. So right uh, So so if, so when the, f the, the, st the full storehouse is found empty What do you think people are going to do? Mm. Just like we're going from Ezra 15 uh, people's gonna be evading one yeah. another, man, right? Because yeah. of great tribulation and because of lack of bread. Yeah, and so. it says what? It, it's gonna be found, the storehouse is gonna be found empty. It says the, the, the trumpet shall give a sound, right? And every man that heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Right. I don't continue on. And, and what sound you think that's gonna be, man? Ooh. You know, the, the, the national lurch, man. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, this the, is not a test. Mm -hmm. It's not a drill. Mm -hmm. They show you that in the purge. They show you in, in, in that the, same movie. Like, these, um, leave the world behind, mm -hmm. even in this uh, trailer, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's always a warning before the chaos, man. And even we're blowing the trumpet. The That's prophets, right. um, the prophets are blowing the trumpet, man. And like the scripture told you, Amos, shall, shall a trumpet be blowing the city, mm. and the people are not afraid? Mm. Shall there be evil, evil in the city, and the Lord have not, not done, done it? it? And Ooh. how would you know if the Lord have done it? If a prophet on the highways and byways to let you know about these things, man. Yeah, that was the whole purpose of uh, in, the, in the ancient kingdoms. Uh, the Lord always sent forth the prophets. Uh, uh, before destroying the, 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 the nation or the, the, the kingdom, man. Always had that mm -hmm. prophet give him warning. And that's mm -hmm. why the prophets were feared at the ancient time. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord's going to put make sure his fear uh, is magnified, man. You might sure. not fear the prophets or the Lord, but he's going to do a marvelous work that you're going to fear him. And you're going to be know him as Allah Shadia, as in, in the past, man. A, a terror, demon-like power, man. Because mm -hmm. that's how the Lord is. He's about to get busy. Mm -hmm. And what scripture say, and lo, when it come, then they should know what? A that prophet. prophet had been among them. So, right. so the trumpet is being blown, man. Scripture say in, in, in Isaiah 58, the, the, for us to lift up our voice like what? Like a trumpet, like a trumpet man. Show the Lord. man they, uh, show every man they transgression. Yeah, roughly right. Show Israel, yeah, they yep. transgression, they sins, man. So, so that's being blown, and also uh, uh, um, from these different news outlet outside mm -hmm. of Fox and stuff like that, letting mm -hmm. you know of what's going on. Alternative media. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. World events. We mm -hmm. filter on through the, the the prophecies in the scripture. That's how we measure the time diligence. That's right, bro. The continuing on mm -hmm. real quick at Second Ezra six verse uh, twenty four. At that time shall friends fight one another like enemies. See, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So your friends, friends, right? friends, man. So right. the people you know. That's why it says. Uh, 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 um, it says they should evade one another, right? Because mm -hmm. um, uh, they should evade their neighbors and whatnot, right? They should have so, no pity upon their neighbor, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But you gotta ask yourself, what time is that we gotta be living in for for someone to not regard their neighbor, man? Mm. For someone to, to to break in someone's house, 
with a sword in their hands, man. Yeah. What, what's going on, man? It this has is, to be Salak. No, 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 no. You it has to be utter chaos, man. That is, it would have to be a, to the brink of destruction that people will feel that if they don't do this to their neighbor or their friend, they mm -hmm. won't survive, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what Ezra says. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? Mm -hmm. When the beginning of sorrows and great mornings and, and beginning of famine, great death and war. You know what I'm saying? You know, when, when, when uh, it says pretty much like Ezra says, when, what shall you do when some, all these evil come? Mm -hmm. So this is why Ezra's saying what he said because the Lord showed him the vision of, of, of the end. And this is what we're doing again. The prophesied a great against kingdoms uh, and, and, and countries and to give our people a warning and, and pretty much to let get warning from Yahweh by Shimei Shah because that's how the Lord works, man. That's right. You it said when all, when all these evils shall come, right? That's what you, yeah, because yeah, the Lord is going to bring every calamity, every plague. Every type of tribulation on earth. It's not going to be just a famine and then it's a time out, everything heals. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just going to come rapidly, like like multiple combos of punches. Yeah. You're going to get hit with multiple plagues and tribulations, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah, want yeah, some yeah. more of this? Hey. Uh, no. um, yeah, let me finish it. Let me yeah, finish it. Oh, okay, yeah, and right, then I'll right. go back to 16. So lock it. Uh, no, no, it's all good. Uh, second Ezra 6, verse 24. At that time shall friends fight one another shall fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Whosoever remaineth from all these things that I have told thee shall escape and shall see my salvation and at the end of your world. Ooh. Yeah, that's what scripture say, man. He that endured the end, the same shall that's be saved, same. man. Yep. And they that endured the end, just know that. The Lord who's with them, they was part of the elect. That's why they made it. Because anyone who don't make it is because this was your judgment. This was, this was your faith, you know, to mm -hmm. die with the wicked, to die with Esau. But in that day, you know, ain't going to be no uh, 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 getting fresh water, even though ain't nothing fresh about these waters that yeah. they sell anyways. But you ain't going to have no water to be drinking that day. It's scarce. It's going to be scarce, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that day ain't going to be full. It's going to be scarce, man. Mm -hmm. Even hearing the words of the Lord, that's biblical problem. Was that mm -hmm. all? Amos, yeah, Amos 8 and 11, 8 and 11 man. Yeah. It's going to be a famine of the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be, it's also going to be a famine of physical food and bread and water. But that main spiritual water, that word, you ain't going to hear neither. And that's why people are going to be running around aimlessly to and fro, right. to and fro lost yeah. in the sauce, man. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important, as Isaiah 33 and 6 says, that wisdom and knowledge is the stability of our time, man. Right. Strength of salvation. The strength of salvation, because there's going to be a time when the Lord is only going to uh, show his salvation for this very elect. And those that are not... Uh, uh, Predestined for salvation are going to hate those that deliver uh, get delivered, man. Mm -hmm. They're going to be was it gnashing of teeth? They're mm -hmm. going to be crying there bitterly and of howling, sorrow, yep. howling. Mm -hmm. well, man. Yeah, man. And and and, and, and this is what the Lord has given us the 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 the, 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 the keep us to keep us stable, to keep us in our right mind. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's these words, man. This is what's going to uphold us. This was going to comfort us. This was going to give us hope to push through whatever we're dealing with, man. Because the words of the Lord are faithful and true, man. You know, whatever the Lord has promised us, we believe in that, man. That He's gonna do. He's gonna do. He's gonna do good on His word. Con, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if you got anything else. We no, could no. probably end it on this. Mm -hmm. We're going back to Second Ezra sixteen because there's always been a a a, a, a calamity, a, 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 a time of where you know your faith is gonna be tested. You might be seeing death right around the corner. And the Lord will find a way out for those that stay faithful unto him, man. Mm -hmm. But continuing on in 2nd mm -hmm. Ezra 16, I'll read down just a little. Mm -hmm. um, I'll read that again, 2nd Ezra 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Hey, them, that they, the madmen, those are Esau, Edom, them devils coming down with great wrath, man. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. not going to regard your gold, your silver, your popularity, your weapons, nothing. They're not even going to regard your faith in the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. they're, they're out to, with one mindset, is to kill and destroy, man. Yep. Hey, hey why well, do you think um, <laughs> Esau's letting, letting all these immigrants come through the borders? Mm -hmm. you, 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 they're going to be part of that, uh, part of that, because what? These militia groups, these garbage troops, right? These are people that Esau has hired, the UN has hired, 
mm-hmm. to take these orders to, to fire on the American citizen. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and he, cause you remember the dude said, what kind of, he says, um, he said, I'm American. He said, what mm-hmm. kind of American are you? Mm-hmm. But, but prior to that, uh, in that commercial it says, uh, 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 it pretty much was saying like, um, are you, these people that's being hired are, are people that's willing to, 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 to shoot, uh, these citizens, because the, their own government, their own uh, um, law, and their own policemen aren't willing to go as far as to shoot their own uh, um, uh, uh, their country own folk, their own po- yeah. yeah, their own people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They still have that sentimental value because they're still his, their nation or their people. People, you know what I'm saying? So these people are getting hired and, and be brought in. And you know, it's just all grown men, up in mm-hmm. all veterans, all people in the military, disguised as immigrants or refugees, but ultimately they getting paid and they have a mission to. To uh, or, uh, to fulfill that, they, you know, we yeah. believe that through the spirit, man. That's gonna happen, that's right? Man. And be like, right? And one more thing, it says they should be like madmen, spirit none. What the scripture talks about uh, uh, in Isaiah, um, when they shall come in like a flood, mm-hmm. the, the Lord that? shall shall lift the standard. standard yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when the enemy shall come in like a flood, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, you know what yeah. What I'm I think that's Isaiah uh, 59, 54, 59, yeah, 19, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But to oh. show you. The Lord can't make waves, man. Like the brother was saying earlier, like don't don't think uh, you just because you see you su- you're surrounded by a whole bunch of uh, 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 militias or uh, uh, a group of m- uh, military that that you know that that's the end of it. Nah, mm-hmm. man. Like the Lord can make a way. He can lift up a standard, man. You know what I'm saying? He can uh, get you out of there. He can give you spiritual powers. You can take flight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the, but you gotta be open minded. But this is why the Lord said you gotta have faith. But like even to death. the end, to yeah, death, right. man. That's right. You know? Well, you got to. Hey, mm-hmm. the scriptures say that. Be faithful unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Mm-hmm. I think that's Ecclesiastes. Uh, 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 strive, strive for this truth. Strive, the water, uh-huh. yeah. strive to the truth until death, and the, the Lord, Lord shall, shall fight, fight for, for thee. Mm-hmm. The water. That's right, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. Uh, back in Second Ezra 16, verse 71, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold is in the fire. Mm-hmm. Hear, O ye, my beloved. So this is for the beloved, man, the mm-hmm. elect of the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. Said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide and a guide to them of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift them up, man. If, if I may just speak mm-hmm, on that. Mm-hmm. So that's the Lord telling you, hey, with all type of adversity, calamity, tribulation, be faithful and trust in your how about I will shy, man. Fear him. Be not afraid that them that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and soul, man. You know, trust in your how about I even until death. And it says it. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt. And that's where your faith is most important, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, even when, you, when again, you might taste death, trust into the Lord until the end, man. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you got anything else, bro? Yeah, yeah, we, we'll close on. Yeah, you yeah, grab Proverbs 3 and 5, just because what you said. Yep. And also, when you, um, I'm just quoting where it says in Psalms uh, um, 146, where it says, Don't put trust in princes, and nor in son of men, mm-hmm. in whom there is no help. So you know what I'm saying? Ain't no yeah, one. Yeah, read that. Read that. Mm-hmm. What was that one? Yeah, um, Psalms 146 and three. Psalms 143. You said 146. 146 and three. Uh huh. Come on, come. I'll read that for you, brother. Mm-hmm. Psalms 146 verse three, and it reads, uh, "Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help." <laughs> there is no help. Because well, the only help that was ordained through Yahweh. Was Yahweh Shai, man? He's yeah. the help. He's the deliverer. That's Hence, right. Yahweh Shai. He delivers, right? And, 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 and we've seen uh, from from times and times when we have put trust in men and where had where that had led us. You know what I'm saying? To Remember, utter ruin. <laughs> utter ruin, man. That's right. Hey, hey man. Even with the with the lesson with David, man. How the Lord, how David put his, allowed the Lord to choose his his punishment rather than the the the, the, the let his the, the let men. Make the decisions for him, right? Because the Lord is what is more, more merciful, merciful, man. That's right. And uh, uh, um, I got this for you. I know no, you. I, I, I got I, this for I, you. I, I, Proverbs, right? Hey, Proverbs yep. three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. 
Fear the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, and depart from evil. Right, man. So so when that time comes, man, when shit hit the fan, when we have to step on our faith, when when all hell is breaking loose, when these pre when these prophecy has to be fulfilled, those you know, because we all gonna have to go through Jacob's trouble, man. That's right. You know? And and, and and we all got to experience it in some way, somehow, some type of form of suffering. But the Lord's going to uh, deliver us out, out of it, man. You know what I'm saying? But when you when, when you do find yourself in this place, like it tells you in, in, in Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach, mm -hmm. for us to what? To set our, our hearts of right and constant door. For us not to make haste in time of trouble. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know? But for, rather for us to cleave within him. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to increase us in the latter days, man. That's so right. whatever is brought upon us, we're supposed to take it cheerfully, take it cheerfully man. man. Yeah. And, 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 and wait upon the Lord. That's mm -hmm. what the Lord said. Wait upon me while I rise up to the prey, while I assemble the kings, and while he, he gathered the nation, he poured out his, his anger upon them. But all this, ultimately, it, it, it's to build our faith, man. It's, it's to it's, it's, it's make sure that we're, we're, we're rooted, that we're built on that cornerstone, man, which is Yahweh Shai, because the Lord did one of these things. If it wasn't so... He wouldn't have told us these things, right? That's right. Yes, but this is this is this is this is knowing the Lord's will, man. This is being circumspect. This is being on your watch tower. This is this is knowing that you know we're behind enemy lines. That this is not our rest. That that, that our rest is going to come, and 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 the next rulership to come, which is uh, is on the way, which which we're waiting for. Our Lord, your house shy, like Scripture tells you, we look forward for that new heaven and, and new, new earth, earth where the righteousness dwell, well, man. Yep. But till then. You know, we're soldiers out here. We're on the battlefield, man. Yeah. And, and scriptures say that for us to hear the words of the Lord and prepare ourselves to, to the battle, man. You know, That's and right. hold on. But, huh? Hey, Until, bro, you know, that was comes. beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, with that, man, we pray everything was edifying, man. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Again, the double honors to our apostles. Bishops and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us his truth and peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawadah, the house of David the elect. Until next time, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom.